A mob has been prevented from attacking two ladies by officers attached to Onireke Police Station, Lagos State, on Friday. The mob charged at the women who were arrested for allegedly selling a three-day-old baby to a soldier, but were rescued by the police. The women said to have come from Onireke Market, Ojo, Lagos State, stormed the police station, chanting war songs against the two suspects. Speaking with NAN, one of the women leaders identified as Mama Dada alleged that the mother of the three-day-old baby had been encouraged by her elder sister, whom she was staying with, to sell the baby as no one had claimed responsibility for fathering the child. Mama Dada claimed that the elder sister sold the baby to a female soldier for 200,000 naira before the mother regained consciousness after childbirth. The sister had been telling the mother of the baby that since they could not cater to the needs of the baby, they rather sell her. And she went ahead to sell the baby to a female soldier at the Ojo Army barracks opposite the market, she said. The sister who accompanied the expectant mother to the hospital where she was delivered of the baby took the child from the nurses on duty before the mother regained consciousness from childbirth and sold to the soldier for 200,000 naira. Beatrice Uzokwe, another trader who was at the station, said the child's mother had raised the alarm over the issue on December 9, 2020, adding that the police had also arrested the elder sister in connection with the incident. The police, however, said a statement would be issued on the matter after investigation. Okay. <clears throat> A baby was sold so, so to a soldier. I'm sure, uh, you know, if you want to look at it thoroughly, <laughs> it's just unfortunate that uh, people are selling children. Uh, of course, if the soldier wants to get, it's not as if the, uh, the soldier, the female soldier stole the baby. Somebody came and they made the arrangements and they agreed and sold the baby to the soldier. So I don't think there's any uh, any fault whether the, it was soldier that so, stole, uh, sold or stole the baby. She bought the baby. That is the society we are found as. But a soldier, if you want a child, you go to orphanage, a, a, a baby's home, or motherless, care, a motherless a baby's home, orphanage home, you go there and get a child if you want to. So this idea of getting from a, a individual, it's something that is baffling. If really you know about the law, as a soldier, you are supposed to go to the right channel if you want a child, if you want to adopt a child. There are processes in getting to that. But why going through a backyard door? Uh -huh. Until we get the full gist. You know, according to what the police is saying, that uh, after their investigation, after the full investigation, we'll know what really happened. But for what we just heard, you know, it's, it's not something palatable that we should be hearing, we should be encouraged, encouraging in this uh, society. Because everything is just in disarray. A lot of things are just going on. Even the, the, the sister that encouraged that also, if not that they are all uh, greedy, if you know that there's nobody to cater for the child, you take the child to orphanage, even when you say orphanage, orphanage is those children who do not have parents. But this one has a, has a parent, at least as a mother, they are talking about the child not uh, having a father because nobody can cater for the, the baby. So is he, the, the best thing is for them to not say the baby. It's, it's, it's a serious matter. I don't know whether it is part of the constitution that you can sell your child, but I don't think it is so. I don't think so. And at least it has to be in connection or in agreement with the owner of the of the baby, because if the lady had agreed, I'm sure they wouldn't they wouldn't have been uh, all these uh, back and forth uh, uh, arguments uh, here. It's unfortunate. That's the situation we've really found ourselves. Pe people should try to do things in an appropriate manner so that you not get yourself or yourselves into trouble. If you work any hour, you see any hour, you do any hour, you see any hour. So that is just the way it is. Because if they have gone through the right channel, they have done the right thing that they ought to have done, this problem wouldn't have come up in the first place. Go to army barracks and stop disturbing the peace of the policemen. Before you knew it, they will say that the police had collected money from the suspect why is this one why is this person making excuses for the police the police said they are going to investigate it that is the work of the police irrespective of what happens uh, uh, come sun come rain they are going to there that is what they have signed to do irrespective of what they have done or what has happened 
So they should have gone to the police barracks. No, 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 no. It is a civil matter that we that they, that uh, they are going to that they are supposed to go through that process and they will undo it in that manner. I even heard about a case of, of a woman that beat a child to death, and that particular area they have a army barracks and the neighbors they went to the army barracks quickly to go and get uh, to inform the soldiers. Once they get when they got there, they they, they took the woman. To their custody but at some point the police the army said they could not handle this whole thing because it is beyond their own jurisdiction they had to hand over the the woman that killed a, a baby or a, a child to the police that it is the work of the police to be able to do that so when somebody is not coming out to tell us that say oh they should have gone to the army barracks you know that is not the right thing to do they have gone to the right place because if really that is not the right thing to do the the police would have told them to go to the barracks since it's involved a um since it involves a soldier so that is not the way it ought to go so they've done the needful by going to police station and police say, say they are going to investigate after they are fully investigated they will know what actually happened before they can before they can tell the public um the next line of action they only brag for police because useless uh so-called human rights is backing them let them go and chant war song where there is buyer suspect. So I don't know what this one is trying to say, but okay, the suspect is a, a soldier, so they ought to have gone to that place. No, no, they went to report there. That's it. Everything will be followed according to the police rules, and the woman soldier will be brought to book. Exactly. Those who are saying something, they are talking from the backyard. I don't know. They, I don't think they know what they are saying. But that does not give anybody um, um, opportunity or give them any rights to go and um burn down police station to go and do anything no and of course since the police got involved the people had to go back let them do investigation i just thought i think that they just brought uh, that complaint to the notice of the police everything will be followed accordingly they should go to army barracks to attack the main suspect there is if they say if they burn them away can you imagine all these people i think uh, these people are i don't know the wrong side of the world they came from the, it is police matter. It is police matter. The police will be able to arrest the soldiers because if you do any you see any her. Just like I said, there are some things that the army can handle and there's some things that the police can really handle. But as far as this case is concerned, the people went to the right channel and it will be it will be ironed out as that's when due and properly. So guys, let's say your opinion. Leave your comment below and let's have your take on this. Thank you.